see that you're here. Hold on, I get you up here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Welcome. Okay, so I um, thought this recipe looked delicious because if you have a teenage boy like I do and yours is turning into a chicken nugget, like I think mine might turn into a chicken nugget, this one looked good because um, he loves buffalo, anything and everything buffalo. So I thought, well, this looks good. Let's just try the buffalo chicken enchilada. Hey Lisa, how are you? We are going to be making something yummy and easy to today. So I've got one block of cream cheese that is room temperature, so it is soft. So hopefully we'll be able to mix this together gracefully since we're live and make our yummy stuffing for our enchiladas. So here we go here. And how is everyone's Saturday going? Beautiful day at the beach, by the way. Tomorrow is National Beach Day! And you know what makes that a great day? Besides it's Sunday and it's gorgeous weather and it's summertime, I would think that National Beach Day is a great day to buy a beach house! Oh, don't you think? I think. I know. That's what I thought too. So yeah, you want to make buy a beach house, you go to GaryAndLisa.com and, and visit us there. You want to make buffalo chicken enchiladas, here we are. So I'm going to put a third, this is one cup of the very best, the original Frank's Buffalo sauce. And I'm going to put a third of a cup here, I didn't measure it separate, so I'm just going to wing it here. A third, because I have a full cup in my cup here, so there's a third of a cup going in our mix here. And then I'm going to start to mash this up to make sure my cream cheese is soft enough here to room temperature. Yes. I got my glass bowl out so you guys can see. Hey Instagrammers. How are you guys today? Hey Florence, how are you? We're making buffalo chicken enchiladas and we're going to make raspberry ginger margaritas. It's because we needed something to cool off the heat from the buffalo. So that looked good too, something new and different. So let me get my cream cheese and my buffalo here mixed up. Oh my gosh smells so good but then this family we love Frank's we put Frank's on anything but the one who loves Frank's the most is my child loves Frank's or buffalo sauce and I'm sure he is a connoisseur of all the different drive throughs <laughs> if he was here we'd have to see what's his favorite hey Rhonda how are you Annette welcome I know if Rexy was here I would make him come be on this with us today but he is not so we're going without him. Give the boy a car, boy gone. <laughs> okay, so to our little mix here, I'm going to put oh, about a half a cup or so of cheddar cheese and then about a half a cup of jack cheese because I like jack cheese in enchiladas because it gets nice and gooey. And you always love to cut into your enchilada and have it be gooey. Yum. Yeah. So I wanted to try and get this stuff all mixed up before we get our chicken going in there too. So in that, I'm going to also put some scallions. Let's see how many here. I'm going to put just some of, of the scallions in the mix here. And the rest of them I will roll up in there. Oh my gosh, smells good. Delicious. Now if you are making these for adults, you might use a little blue cheese. But since I'm not making these for adults necessarily, because I have my buffalo chicken lover here, I'm going to forego the blue cheese. But if it was for Gary and I, we'd definitely be using blue cheese with our buffalo chicken. So into that, make sure I got everything in here. The hot sauce, the scallion, oh, some cumin. Now, it just calls for a quarter of a teaspoon. Like, that just seems like not enough for me to do anything. But I will put in 
I, I will put in a heaping quarter teaspoon of cumin because I love it anyway. So some cumin into our middle of our mix here. And then I am going to add also our chicken. So in here I have the chicken. Now I took this, here's our taco seasoning that we homemade and took the chicken, rubbed it down and baked it till it was cooked. So this is cooked chicken going in here. Um, but you know, we made our own taco seasoning. So I thought, well, let's just use that to make our chicken delish and cook that up, shredded it. Cause I didn't think you guys wanted to stand there and watch me shred chicken. So I did it while I was waiting for you. So we are ready. Oh my goodness. Yum. This looks killer. <laughs> Definitely all the yummy things we've made. Oh my goodness. But this one I thought a great twist for all of us that are home and homeschooling and figuring out not only what's for dinner now, but mom, what's for breakfast? Mom, what's for lunch? Mom, what's for dinner? So welcome to my world, but I know I'm not alone in that world. <laughs> So I thought I'd bring you along for dinner. <laughs> okay, I got everything in our mix, I think, here. Let's make sure I did. Okay, so for our tortillas, I'm going to show you my Orange Theory girls, who I miss desperately. Um, these, I learned from them, they are the extra thin corn tortillas because, you know, you got to shave off points wherever you can, especially where you're using cream cheese and regular cheese and some butter and some franks. I thought, well, you know, of course we need the skinny tortillas to go with that. So I have a few here in a wet paper towel and my magic hands are gonna um, nuke those for 30 seconds and warm them up so they're pliable so we can make our, our mix here. And then I need my magic hands to melt that too. And uh, we will roll these up. Now I'm making these, of course, in a pan to go because we can't eat all these things. My freezer is full, so we are giving them away madly. Um, so it's been fun to not only make the things, try new things, but to make dinner for people too. So how are my Instagrammers? I can see who's there. Oh, uh, can't read them. Hi guys, Instagrammers. So here we go on the tortillas, and then the butt the butter she'll get going here in a second because I'm going to mix it in with the Franks because Franks doesn't have enough. I need to put a little butter in there with the rest of our sauce here. And then, um, and a little bit of water. So I have three tablespoons that my magic hands measured of the water that is somewhere. Oh, right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in with our Franks and I'm going to put the butter in there and we'll get started rolling our yumminess here. Let me stir that. And, uh, Oh, you want me to raffle off the dinner? Sherry, is that, is that what you mean? Give it away as, as a prize? Yeah, I, we could do that as long as, long as you're local. <laughs> if you're local, I can raffle off the dinner and drop it off. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Do you guys love Frank's like, like we do? Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this here and put it in the bottom of the pan here so our enchiladas don't stick to the bottom of this. Oh my gosh, yum! Roll that around a little, little bit because I have made enchiladas before so we need uh, to make sure they don't stick. Okay, so to that, I am going to make a mess with that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Lori says she'll pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of our yummy mixture in, uh, in, in here. So we've got our cream cheese, jack cheese, uh, sharp cheddar cheese, scallion, cumin, chicken, all in our enchilada. And I'm gonna put um, a little bit of green onion into here and give it a roll here. Oh my gosh, yum. And there we go, enchilada one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so yummy because, you know, never met a chicken wing I didn't like, right? And I guess I passed that on to my favorite son, and he loves it too. So, oh my gosh, you guys, these are so good. I can actually put a little more cheese in these if you wanted to. I've got cheese left. Cheese goes on the top, but... <laughs> yes, that's what they mean. You want me to raffle off the meal? Well, that's a good idea. 
idea. I could. Let's see, director is giving me stage notes. Move it in. This way? This way. Toward me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. So, I think you guys get the idea on this deliciousness. And this can be a quick meal, again, like you don't have to cook the chicken. You get a Costco chicken or the baked chicken or fried chicken for that matter at, um, you know, the grocery store. And bring it home, shred it, boom. Because look how fast we just did this. We're ready to go. So when I have this pan full, um, I will sprinkle the rest of some cheese on top, pour the rest of our sauce on top, cover it with cheese, and then boom, bake it in the oven until they're bubbly and gooey and we have buffalo chicken enchiladas. Now this is where you could also use blue cheese if you were making it for adults. You could um, sprinkle the top with blue cheese and then when you're serving it as a, gar as a garnish, use a little blue cheese dressing on the enchilada mm -hmm. on the plate. Would be delicious because those are all the flavors that are in this. And that's another thing I love because we love blue cheese. But one, the youngest Scheffler does not. <laughs> so there's our enchiladas. So I thought, well, with all that hot spicy Franks, we need to cool it off a little bit. So we will cool it off. I'm going to move this back here. This or, uh, orchid, beautiful. It is real. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pull over here my 30 plus year old, hold on, my power strip, Oster blender here. And I guess I will prep my glass first so that I'm ready to go when we get this done. This recipe looks killer too, so another yumminess. So to this, our blender, okay, I'm going to take my pretty glass. I don't have margarita glass, but I have these beautiful martini glasses. I am going to take my lime and prep the edge of my glass with the lime. Now if you're not a margarita salt person, I am. I like Especially this drink is going to be sweet with the raspberries. So I'm like, well, we definitely need some salt. Then, who you're serving it to, to know it's a margarita. And this is going to be a good one. Yep, yeah, baby. So there's our pretty glass. And so in our mixer here, I'm going to put in three cups of frozen raspberries. As you can see, my cup was about two cups, and it was actually a whole bag, a 12-ounce bag of frozen raspberries going in. Oh, my gosh. I think we're going to have some overload here. Because all my ice I don't think is going to fit. But we're going to put some ice. Enough for my poor little old blender to mix up. <laughs> it has been so hot here. For those of us that live here, crazy. It's like been 80 degrees. I know. Crazy. Hot for us. Those of you that don't um, live at the beach can't relate. But it only gets 80 degrees here. Like, not very often. And we all complain. But I love it. You feel like you're on vacation and it's been humid and tropical. It feels tr uh, tr uh, tropical. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, where am I here? Okay, stay focused. So to this, I'm going to add a quarter cup. How much is in here? I just made a little simple syrup. So I took a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water and heated it up till it was all mixed in. Boom. So a quarter cup of uh, simple syrup go, uh, going in. And then I also have a teaspoon and a half um, of fresh grated ginger. Mm. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So like my mother taught me, I will teach you how do you peel ginger. Fresh ginger comes like this. It looks like a root. You use the back of a spoon and you peel it just like this. Because you don't want to damage the, the ginger. And then if I was really fancy, I'd have the ceramic ginger grater. But I don't have one. Don't tell anyone though. So I actually used my favorite tool, my microplane, which I love. But it will, um, the ginger will turn if you grate it too soon. It'll turn color when you use steel is why the fancy way to do ginger is with a ceramic grater. So if you see those in the food, you know, in the, in the supply, like Williams Sonoma, and you're like, what is that ceramic thing? It's a ginger grater. But I just grated it on my uh, metal microplane because I knew I was going to use it right away. And you know it's a margarita, so we were going to drink it right away. So the ginger won't have a chance to turn brown. <laughs> so in goes our teaspoon and a half of fresh grated ginger. And then I'm going to put in, we have this, all we had in the cabinet today was this fancy numbered Patron te tequila. So why not? It's Saturday, and it's COVID, and we're using the good stuff. 
the sipping tequila in the blended margarita to, uh, to today because that's just how we're rolling. Because life is short, drink the good tequila. <laughs> so into this, we'll see how many margaritas this is good, gonna make. I'm gonna put, oh, it's about three quarters of a cup. Um, the recipe calls for a cup, but I'm afraid I'm gonna overflow my fancy old blender here. So there's our tequila. I'm gonna be starting out the end here. Raspberries, tequila, oh, the lime juice, duh, it's a margarita. Here's my lime juice. My magic hands made me some fresh grated, or grated, fresh, you know, squeezed lime juice going in. And it's a magic amount. It's the amount of limes we have. <laughs> so it's about, I don't know, three quarters of a cup or so of fresh lime juice. And that's in the syrup, the ginger, and we're good. Okay, let's make margarita. Cool. Okay, hold on. So here we go. Plug your ears. I just lost my um, Instagrammers. Hold on a second. Hold that thought. Okay, not now. Okay. Sorry, Instagrammers. My phone wanted to update my carrier settings. Okay, here we go. In there before I pour it in my pretty glass. So, okay. Oops. I think we're okay here. I don't have clumps. Okay, so into our pretty glass, we are gonna put our raspberry ginger. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Another re reason I like this recipe because it's my color. Loved it. And just because I love Cointreau. I had to do a little floater of Cointreau because that's just how I roll. You have a margarita at my house that has Cointreau, so a little bit of a floater of Cointreau on there for a garnish. And then of course I have a fresh raspberry. Oh, and I probably have an umbrella too, but I didn't get my umbrellas down. So pretend I got my umbrellas down, but the pretty umbrella. And then a lime. And there we go. There's cocktail. Fit for recipe of the day. What do you think of that? Yeah. So, I'm going to give this a taste. And, uh... Oh, yeah. That's three thumbs up on that. So, cheers. Happy Saturday. We have buffalo chicken enchiladas and our beautiful raspberry margarita to make your Saturday even better. So, we have a fun giveaway for today in our theme today of our margarita. So I will show you what we've got going on here. Because again, my umbrellas, I'm giving away today margarita salt. Because you know you can't have a margarita without margarita salt. It's a holiday weekend next weekend for those of you that totally lost track of time, day, year, where are we, season, Labor Day weekend next weekend. So some uh, margarita salt so you can try out this recipe. And then some, these are straws with the fancy umbrellas on the straw. How cool is that? And I have the fancy umbrellas, but not on the straw. So I thought these were so cute. So here's your cocktail giveaway. So if you have commented or liked on these videos, either here on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, please go and subscribe. We're almost to a thousand, so please subscribe. Um, then you are in the drawing. So I will pick here. Hey Jen, how are you? How's it going in Idaho today? It's probably not a gorgeous beach balmy day like it is here in Idaho today. Okay, here we go. First winner, Gabrielle Roberts. We got margarita salt for you, girl, for your holiday weekend margaritas. And then let's see who else I got in here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Elisha Elder, ready to go on the margarita salt. So congratulations to you guys and thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. 
So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we um, appreciate you watching. Oh, I do have a birthday shout out. Hold on. One birthday shout out for today. I almost forgot my birthday shout out hat. Happy birthday shout out to Jamie Jenkins. It's your birthday. And I remember when you were born, you were such a little love. But now, I don't know, you're turning 15? I don't, I don't remember. But whatever it is, happy birthday to you, dear one. And hope you're doing something fun like riding your horse today. And we will see you here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching. You visit us at GaryandLisa.com, your real estate edge, and uh, for all your real estate needs. And then we are here making re recipes fun and easy while we are home and schooling children. So wish you all the best. Have a great week, and we will see you Wednesday.